Sloss and Humphreys on the road. Muggins and cream, cream and muggins, straight thugging, living the dream. That, that's our intro. Fucking muggles. Tickling the clit inside your head that makes you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> they said it can't be done. Good morning, mate. Yeah. Two weeks in now yeah. to, a, to an American tour with a family. How are you feeling? Good. You found out you stank. I didn't. Well. Nah, I had people reply to that just going, I met you and you didn't stink. Mm-hmm. I probably had your run when I met them. Yeah. 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 I mean, it was a wild stance. What, that I just don't stink when I've just had a shower and I've put some clothes on and I haven't sweated yet. There's nothing to create an odour. Yeah. Just, okay. Like it's a, it's a wild stance. Like, I think it's like a... Uh, like, I wear deodorant if, like, I'm going to be exerting myself, if I'm going to be sweating, but not mm. just lounging around the house or in my hotel. It's like people who don't. Me ex last used to make us put it on for bed, right? I'd have, have me shower, and then she, I'd just before I went into bed, she'd go, put some deodorant on before I go to bed. Mm-hmm. I've just got to the fucking shower, man. There's times that I went and just went... <laughs> It made the sound of deodorant. Yeah. And I got into bed and she just didn't make any complaint. Mm. It was like all in her head. Do you think she maybe made an antiperspirant? Probably, I don't know. Well, because then that's a different look I don't know. I just think, um, I just think it's nice not to just be like fucking covered in stuff from time to time. Like, I, I hate wearing suntan lotion. I'd sometimes rather be in the shade. Yeah. They don't have sun and lotion on. I just it's like, like body thing. I just hate having like. I mean, deodorant's not that bad. I'm be, I'm being point like I'm being pointlessly whingy, but like, right. you know, I'll not spray deodorant if I'm like on a flight or on a bus or like in like in a close confines. Yeah, like I'll not right. do that. But oh, that's um, fair. But uh, I just honestly like. It's very confident <laughs> considering how awful your are smells. Like the, the the shit that you produce that you're like, there's absolutely no way that any other part. Of it. <laughs> When just left to its own devices, creates could be smelly. Yeah, I just like I. I think like if I sweat and then the sweat dries, I fucking stink and I can smell it. Mm. But I just think just normally like not sweating. No, I, I don't. Nobody know. knows their own smell. That's the problem. Nah. You don't know what your own That's true. Smells. Yeah, you don't know what your own house smells like. That's a funny one. Uh, like yeah. everyone's house has like a really unique smell. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yours just doesn't have any. Yeah. I think it would. I. I reckon that would be like a new anxiety for people there was something if somebody were a needless invention that would just give people a new uh, fear societal fear would be like I can make you smell your own house smells uh, like you're like I'd rather I'd rather taste my own cum man uh, yeah <laughs> didn't, didn't, bring, that, didn't bring that to the table <laughs> uh, I lost the smell of chlorine for many years you know this distinct swimming pool smell that reminds you of your childhood yeah Working as a lifeguard on the pool, could not smell right. it, and it's it's just not reminded you of the smell of the death of children. <laughs> yeah, all the children that died on me watch. <laughs> um, I just couldn't smell chlorine; like it just wasn't there. It was like the smell of a, your own house kind of vibe on on something as strong as chlorine. And then it was like recent years, um, like walking past the swimming pool, I smell the chlorine again and remember my childhood. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I've got that smell back. I can smell that again. Why did it remind you of your childhood and not when you worked out? Because you didn't smell it. I couldn't smell it. Got you it said, yeah. <laughs> Whereas you can totally smell it when you go swimming as a kid. Mm. Um, see the Hoxton Hotel that mm-hmm. we're in. Mm-hmm. Like, as people watching the podcast can see, we're sat on the bed because it's not all that spacious, even though it sells itself as one of the, like, higher Well, me, me and Cara were just having a very privileged gripe. Can, you know what it's like? It's like... The popular cool person being a shit fuck. Mm. <laughs> and you're like, privileged to be here, but you go, ugh, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. The Hoxton really, really prides itself That'd on... Be trendy, trendy over everything. like, hey, we can make this really, really tiny room hip. And you're like, can you just maybe knock down bigger. the wall and make two rooms? Or just two rooms into one? No, 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 no. We're purely a capitalist organization. Never forget, never forget. We're going to cram as many of you into such a small place as we can and just drip profit of everywhere. But we sell coffee in the lobby Mm -hmm. and it's a bar up until like 3 a.m. and everyone's on their laptop. So it's like, it's it's actually dead, dead, not capitalist. It's an an overpriced latte of a hotel. Yeah, yeah, it's not. And you hit a point. If your friend day. has ever said, I'm staying in the Hoxton, and you've gone, oh, get that myth out of here. Hey, no, it's not. 
you hit the nail on the head about the London one, the whole the Holborn London. one. You're like, who are all these people in my hotel lobby? Yeah. You don't stay at the hotel. Why are you here? Get, like, the get fu- out of my lobby. Yeah, like, this is the place I'm going to wait with my bags. So yeah. I can't get a seat because you, you've got your laptop open. Yeah. And again, look, obviously when we're in hotels, we're, we, we're, we're looking for things that I guess like infrequent hotel stairs are not, which is the average hotel user. Well, I don't, I don't even know if that's true. I think the average hotel user is people like us. Mm. Well, not like us, but like people who... Travel with work. Regularly, uh, you know, I guess... I guess a lot of fucking businessmen mm-hmm. aren't staying in their room mm-hmm. for like 12 hours of time like we do. But no. it's, uh, Hawkson's are not all they're cracked up to be. No. And uh, the, one in, the one in London has, um, I couldn't find the room numbers, man. I was walking along the lobby, just got none of these. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to be thick, <laughs> but none of these doors have numbers. Yeah. Hawkson um, Hotel. They were, they were on the floor. The numbers were on the floor. Little little tiny circle of number on the floor. Hawkson Hotel is where every single Soho theatre act wishes they could stay. Mm-hmm. That's the dream for them. Mm-hmm. That's the sort. Of, and they pretend to love it. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, they all write. They all write their Soho theatre shows in the lobby of Hawkson Hotels. That's what this place is. Um, it's not as bad as uh, the other fucking trendy one. I think just sucks. It was one of the worst hotels in the world. I hate it. Uh, and it's good. It's good. Like people like it. People have no friends that think it's the best. Uh, the um, I've just just got Moxie. My, oh, Mo- no, Moxies are just shit in general. Moxies are a scam. Um, are they the ones that are like always in like kind of industrial bin- buildings that have been refurbished, but they've just left the concrete on display? Yes, yes. Which is exactly like the urban in Sydney, uh-huh. which is just uh, they're like, hey. We uh, kind of trendily took over this abandoned warehouse. Nice. I've gentrified a Call of Duty map. Yeah. And you're like, oh, cool. Have you improved it in any way? And they're like, there's muffins in the lobby. And you're like, okay, what about like natural lighting? Do I get any of that thing that is widely regarded as one of the most important things? No, no, it's, it's a neon light uh, above there. But don't worry, we've left two shit-free beers in the fridge. Mm. Trendy. Yeah, trendy sucks. Worst, but oh, did you see what I just did? Mm. I pressed record on the video. Oh, did you? Oh, pe- people who are listening to the audio, which is most of you, just the exact same podcast it was. But the people who are watching mm-hmm. have only just been given the splendor of uh, the visuals right now. Mm. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? And it's not as if yeah, I don't know if you're trying to improve, but whatever your efforts are of improvement. Do not seem to be getting traction. <clears throat> nah. That's Do you think you need to start doing like fucking crosswords and stuff? What, to keep your mind right? Aye. Maybe, yeah. Uh, like something, something like as I'm getting older, to just keep my mind focused. I should definitely get back into the meditation tip. I feel like I was better at thinking then. I just can't. Reading books is always good. And I do that. With I want to get back into meditation so much, but... I have such a love-hate relationship with Sam Harris. I think he's such an intelligent man. And I enjoy a lot of his podcasts. And I enjoy some of his books. And I have mixed feelings about all of his work. But, you know, overall, I think he's great. And I love, love so much of his fucking meditation. But as with everything that Sam Harris does, he's just talking for like 80% of the time. And you're like, this is exactly what I need. And then the last 20%, you're like, I just, <laughs> and the, the, the keeping your eyes open stuff like yeah oh just let me escape from it's the like world, it's from a meditation yeah it's it's like so it's, give me sensory input man come on it's like it's like man you can be you can be as religious as you like but if you make me join in prayer at a table i'm seething absolutely seething mm-hmm. i'll do it i mean i'll not look down but i'll go yeah uh-huh I don't think I've ever been asked to do that. Oh, I have. Yeah, you've got family, though. Yeah, and I I've had married into family. Uh, God, his family aren't fucking religious. Are they? No. No, no. You had a, a minister marry into your family. Oh, sorry. My minister, I thought it was... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. But my uncle was never... No, I mean, I don't think... Oh, I guess at Christmas, you sometimes would put me my dad. He wouldn't make you pray. He, no, knew, he, he read he, the room. Yeah, he knew that we wouldn't fucking do it. But no, I've been to friends in fucking primary school. Next door, my neighbours when I was growing up were Christian. I had to stay with them a bunch of times. I fucking hated it. Mm. Fucking hated it. These oh, are, 
There's a lot of religious quite a bit, aren't there? The, do, do you find them in your <laughs> crowd? Or you don't get any of the religious people coming to your gigs, do you? Oh, I'm sure lots of people in my audience are religious, but there's, you know, the good type of religious, which is where they keep it to themselves. Which is only good because you're keeping your stupidity on the inside. It's still, you're still... Speaking of stupid, how fucking dumb was that Uber driver last night? Oh, you like literally said to him, "Look, we've got a car, we've got a car seat, um, but ideally we'll keep him asleep and not tie him to a chair and just keep him keep him in our arms. So if you don't mind, it's just a short journey. I'll keep him asleep in my arms, uh, in Cara's arms, and then um, we'll quietly get Cara and sleeping child into mm. the car." And then he just gets in, slams the door and starts speaking at full volume across the oh. back, asking questions about how we say things. Oh, and, and no concept. Just you're, you're you know, you, you talk to so many Americans and you're like, oh, you know what? You know, I meet people after shows and stuff. And so obviously some of my fans are stupid. Um, but you meet the average American. You're like, maybe the average American isn't as dumb as I've been told that they are. I remember they are. And then you get to Ubers and you talk to these people. Could not fathom... Just so little history of the world that English from the UK was the same as English in America. Yeah, like, you cor you corrected him at one point. He was like, like oh. Just like so our you, English. So and you I'm speak like, just like our English. And you went, well, you speak like ours. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Historically, it's, it's from there. And then it was funny. Cause he he said, what, do you guys, what do you guys say for a... Car. For what do you car? say for car? Car. Like, car. What do you say for money? Like, just Money. Like, all right, and he just kept getting, he was like, what do you say, what do you say for a woman? And I just went, bird. Right. Just started making, bird, bird, making bird. stuff up. I'm like, what do you say for Munta? It's the first time Kana looked at me, because, uh, I mean, Caelan was in his, his transitionary period of just like, semi-asleep, semi-conscious, in and out, yet loud American man yelling, not really fucking helping. Um... Sorry. But just the stupidity. Cara just kept looking at me like, is this real? I thought we were on camera. Mm. Like, I was like, this is one of those things. Like, there's no, there's no way a man with a driver's license is, this so, like, an, an adult man is, is this uneducated and uh -huh. just out in the world. And he, he seemed so excited by the exotic beings that he had in his yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Of a country that I guarantee you couldn't point out on a map. Now, fair enough. I might not be able to point out on a map in of America, America where, Chicago is. where Oklahoma is. I could probably point where Chicago is, but I might not be able to fucking Tulsa, mm. like the weird, obscure places. I'll be able to point to most of, I think. But then again, I, I don't think that's true for the rest of the UK. We've travelled here uh, a fair bit. But I, 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 I do feel we have a standard just here. I know the history of America. I feel like we're taught... The history of America in like UK schools a little bit. Mm, yeah, I mean vague. I got like a vague idea. Aye. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I. I couldn't um, do a podcast on it. No. Nah. Um. But yeah, I was, I <laughs> it's was never like, stopped us before. You, you, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but you just see, like I was like at the back, just going, "Oh my god, this guy is just not just doing what you hate and just talking on a pony like all the way through the journey but doing it while your child's asleep and you just seem to just go right this is what it is except in reality and you're just pleasant with them well okay, there's no man if Cara was if Cara was fine with it then you know and Caelan wasn't really staring he was flat out um, so where, what have we done since because it's actually been a while since we recorded a podcast because mm -hmm. we've done it in Bethlehem and then we've done like a full week in the tour bus yeah like this is, so this is our first hotel like a week after because we have Mondays off yeah um we went to Canada we did that was and a uh, Canadian border guard uh Canadian border entry is so pleasant like it's just uh -huh, but also he done the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life dumbest and I don't know how much that's going to be a problem in the future oh well regardless we're going to have to he was the nicest man in the world but he, he does he does have to lose his job yeah, so he opened the passport onto the ID page, ID'd it to Cara, and then proceeded to stamp that page. Not flick to an empty page, stamp the page 
opposite your photo, which is also, does that have information on it? I can't make Yeah, well, it's it mean, like, specifically says, do not stamp here. Like, what the It's like fuck? notes about the passport. What the fuck kind of deface in Kara's passport is that? And he done Kalen's as well. Yeah. And then I think he clicked on uh, his mistake and done the rest of it just fine. Yeah. But like, is that going to be a problem when you're going through some like jobs worth in Dubai or something like in, and then could she be fucked? Is that is that void? Is your is your passport void if you've defaced that page? No, even if it's with a stamp. No, no, I think it's void. You'd probably get jobs worth, which is why it's not. Which is, it, but the only people place you really find jobs worth at border control is America, America. which we had a problem coming through. That oh, guy was those, a dick. Oh, oh my that god, that guy was a fucking dick. Yeah, the, on the way through, um, like just like really harshly questioning your parenting by just going why would you have a child on a tour bus because i'm fucking You're like because i'm on cause tour, I'm, cause because i'm on tour and I bring my family. Because I'm at work and i've got a two-year-old and we'll, we'll live Hi. on this bus now yeah and what well, he's not out of school he's not he's he, doesn't have a, he doesn't have a Aye. job to get to on monday trying to explain like, trying to explain travel to an american is always difficult uh, but he was so fucking judgmental in a position where you couldn't exactly Oh, you can never give them the stank they deserve back. Nah, because he's in such a position of power. And he didn't want to let her through. Nah. Like, he did not want to let her tour. Even though we just popped out of Canada for one day and the whole tour and the whole visa and the whole operation is based in America, he wanted fucking none of that. And then made we go into this, like, secondary room to get checked out where everyone just blanked her. Oh, nobody, sat there nobody, with nobody, nobody waiting, doing their job. Nobody in the waiting room. At least initially when we went in, nobody in the waiting room. And about like six or seven guys, some sat at the window, some just milling around. You go up and talk to them and they just like pie you off and, and then eventually call you. You guys? And then, and then, no, 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 no. You and you, but not you. And you're like, well, you can't just blanket say you guys. And then when we all woke up decide which one of us is you want and then act like we're the thick ones like fucking also, I, I, like the, purposefully, purposefully not, to, not, to, not to sound like not to sound like every racist american here right the wrong border guys uh, this is like like i don't know if you've watched your news but the invasion that you think is happening it's not coming, coming from the north. it's not canada <laughs> they're not coming over to get less fucking health care uh, like what are, there is no canadians looking at the current american political sec situation and be like fucking get me in there man get me in there for love of money i'm abandoning my family i'm leaving my fucking my, my job i'm leaving my home country get me fucking in there are going to sneak in on a goddamn tour bus. There's just no, oh, there's no sense of critical. I watched uh, the film Civil War in a cinema in Toronto, mm. and what a great veteran to watch that film is that that was fucking porn for them. Mm. Like they were slow wanking all the way through that movie as they just watched America crumble in the near future yeah. in a film. And there was one bit which I like. Look, people consider spoilers as different things. I don't consider this a spoiler. I'm spoiling a joke from the film, not part of the plot. There's a bit where she offered $300 to pay for fuel and mm. the guy was like, $300 won't get you a sandwich. And then she went, Canadian dollars. And he was like, oh yeah, yeah, get all the fuel you need. <laughs> um, the Canadians roared with laughter. Yeah. At the fictional situation where their dollar was better. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it's a highly fictional situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. And then, uh, like, what a lovely lad Matty Longstaff is. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this. I just took a punt, right? I f like, I'm obviously a big Newcastle United fan, and there's two Jolly lads played played for Newcastle. One still does the Longstaff brother. Sean still plays for us. Matty Longstaff had an injury, went out on loan, and uh, he's come back from his knee injury, and he's went out to play in the MLS. And uh, he plays for Toronto. And I was like... You know what? I don't know what it's like being miles from home and not hearing another Jolly accent. And he's been in the same spot for a few months now. And it might be nice to just reach out to him and go, look, do you want some free tickets to come to the comedy show? And being able to understand. Free? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, I come to men. I come to men. But um, don't you worry, he's going to sort me out with tickets for Newcastle matches. <laughs> oh, so oh, God, so rest assured that that didn't go to waste, Daniel. Um, so uh, I, him and a couple of his friends, well, it was his, a, lad, a lad whose dad used to play ice hockey with. And his wife, who's from Whitley Bay, so a Canadian guy, and uh, he's Jolly Mrs., mm. uh, come in with him. 
and uh, hung out backstage and that. And uh, fucking what a nice kid he is, man. It was so funny because you've got a bit in your, in your set where you go, you, you get into the bit about being a parent. Mm-hmm. And then you go, I hate it when comedians do material about having children. It's a lot like foot, Premier League footballers come to the MLS. Like, I get what you're doing, but nobody respects it. Mm-hmm. And then you pointed it directly at Matty Longstaff. You're like, ah, sorry, Matty. Oh, well, no, no, no. I, I did the joke yeah. and I heard him laugh. Yeah. And I was like, there he is. And then when he came backstage, he was like, it's totally true. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 you need to apologise for that, man. I find it so funny how sensitive, <laughs> uh, like, when you make fun of the MLS over here and just like the quality uh, of it. Uh, Americans get very like fucking defensive, being like, "Oh, about all the other sports," and you're like, "I, but you, but you do want to be good at soccer." Yeah, it's like, the ethical retirement home. Yeah, like Messi coming here for his great, yeah, great, it's so superb. so much better than yeah. Ronaldo going to the South yeah. League. Man, I, yeah, I, I, I like anyone that goes to the Chinese league and that. Yeah. Like Suarez shouldn't be over here. Suarez belongs in Saudi. Oh yeah, Suarez I, is a fucking dog. He, yeah, yeah. Yeah. he should be in China, really. Um, Messi's allowed to be over here uh-huh. because, and yes, he's a tax dodger. But what American isn't? But I, d- I didn't uh, even get a chance to ask Matty that if he got to play against Messi because they're in the same league. Um, well, I mean, I think to be fair, I think the MLS season's only fucking four or five games in at the moment. They start well late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a diff- it's a different season, isn't it? Yeah. And it's mad eh, that the like ha- half of the league get half of the season off mm. because if you finish in the bottom half, you're done in the top half going to playoffs. Yeah, they really ju- everything just has to be knockout mm-hmm. stuff here. Yeah, so I reckon that's why they went so, so like, hot. You could you could, fi- you could finish the actual league in like. I don't know how many teams are in it, but let's say eighth place mm-hmm. and end up winning the league after you've like there's no point in the league system. <laughs> just they, they have a cup, just have a cup. Um, Willie Nelson gave us money. Ah, oh, that was fucking insane. That was like back to back days as well, like hang, hanging out with Matty Longstaff and then getting money from Willie Nelson, and not not an insubstantial amount of money. Oh, a real amount of money. Like, I've, like, I've, like, like to, he, to a lot of people, maybe not like a life altering amount of money, but certainly but a man, life changing. It, it, it's more than I would have getting paid for a month's work at the leisure center. Yeah. Well, it, even it's still in dollars? No, because it's like, it's $1,500 each. Like, that's probably about, at the minute, about 11, 1200 pounds, right? No. Nah. You don't think so? Uh, 1500 because I would get just over a grand like maybe it's 11 1100 after, oh, after, almost after tax at the leisure centre depending and then if I worked overtime I could I, I'd never breach two grand even if I worked every fucking hour the leisure centre was open which mm. sometimes I did mm-hmm. um, and he just give us to us in an envelope in cash 50, 1500 like, bucks is about th- I'm going to say 1300 pounds yeah, yeah. so yeah like the a, pounds, a the pounds are fucked at the moment a month's wage. That is literally like 160 hours work Aye. for um, for working at the sports centre. And um, it was like, the the Live Nation rep was just like smiling as he goes it. Just like, I don't know how to... And I was like, I had to make him explain a f- bunch of times. I was like, so wait a minute. Like, Willie Nelson's explain. just giving William, us cash. Willie Nelson runs a, a charity. Uh, so a foundation. A foundation it, like, called yeah. On The Road. And for those of you that might not know who Willie Nelson is, he's an incredibly famous country, uh, country singer, singer uh, in the States and the world. He's one of the biggest stoners in the world. I think he's like the only person that Snoop Dogg has ever freely admitted has smoked him under the table. He owns cannabis farms across America and Canada. Uh, I believe he's a philanthropist. Um, and I mean, I love him just because he's a big fucking stoner. And he's uh, 90 years old. And- oh, he's 90 years old. He's lived a fucking life. And I've seen, seen it all, done it all, spent it all, and now he's just like, I just want these like younger, hungry people to have a anyone that's speed any, boost. Anyone that's uh, tours in like a bunch of venues that he chooses to have the foundation at gets fifteen hundred uh, in contribution towards like. Well, just a little note, like uh, fill like, fill your tour bus with your favorite comforts and snacks. Yeah, this been like this one's for the tour bus, this one's for petrol, and this one's for like food on the road. So I mean, um, and all the subtext is like, there's your drug money. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, me and Carol were discussing this because I was like, look, well, obviously, uh, we'll we'll tip the bus driver, uh, we'll uh, tip the tour manager. 
uh, you know, if we're given this, we'll, we'll spread it. Well, if we buy Caitlin something nice, we'll use them. Mm-hmm. Might buy herself something. And I'm like, and I'm just like, Cara, just so you know, I know the letter said tour bus stuff. I know Willie Nelson, not personally, but I know Willie Nelson. He wants me to spend it on drugs. Yeah. Right? At least 200 bucks on that is going on. Mm-hmm. For, Willie Nelson has to buy me marijuana. Kind of that is happening. And she gets it. Yeah, because I'm a. Uh... I've got Natalie coming out for to join us for a week. What? Uh huh. Yeah, New York. Uh huh. Remember last time she came to New York? <laughs> I think we all do. <laughs> I think we were specifically told not to forget. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I forgot. <laughs> Let's just say I forgot. Um, so she's coming out in New York. Uh, I'm like, well, that's like expenses covered for my wife joining us. Mm. Like it's literally not taking a it's not taking a penny out my wage for for my wife to be here. Mm. Fucking Willie Nelson, man. And I know you've put your holiday to the uh, Maldives and you've done yeah. your... On, on fucking Avios point. I know, your little fucking Tory fucking coupon oh, cutting. Do you know what a... He has my first world problem. Mm. I, I, well, can I just say, I think it would be... I think that would be my red flag with Natalie. Early doors of me and her had ever been in a relationship. Oh, she's going to save us loads of money. Yeah. Oh, you, no. Like watching you two oh, book a ho- book a holiday together, like I'm, I'm, I'm glad you both find joy in that with each other because I would be like, I would have killed myself if it, if I had to go through any of this. You love giving your money to corporations. Absolutely. No, 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 no. You love it. I love. You, take a, you get a kick out of it at the point. It's a red flag of. I love loop. my time, just mine to be mine and to not be. Well, it's mad that you spend a lot of it on the road making money so that you can give it to corporations for no reason. Go, yeah, yeah, but the, but like on those, yeah, exactly. There's more time for me, <laughs> right? So anyway, a false economy makes no sense to us. But uh, I used Avios for the flights, but obviously when I book the accommodation, mm. that's just that's just money that we're spending. Mm-hmm. I forgot to go through the Avios app to get the booking dot com six points per pound spent, and that's a lot of Avios. That's probably a free one way flight to New York. Because Natalie's return was like, you know, I've, I went to I went to do the free cancellation on Booking dot com mm. and rebook it through the app, which would have took us like less time than it takes you to fucking doom scroll and get angry on your phone. Um, My well, time. Uh, <laughs> so, so uh, I went to do it, but I had a free upgrade. And I would have lost the free upgrade if I cancelled it. Mm. So I would have had to have less accommodation to have more Avios points and that's where I drew the line. It's such a weird aversion because it's not like you do a great deal of like productivity with your time. No, you normally just like argue and we're calling or like getting angry. Well, I mean, you're, you're, you're certainly projecting that I haven't argued. I watched with. it. I was watching it. <laughs> when? Real you? time about Wrexham. That was an argument. Oh, you were saying you weren't a real fan for supporting it or something? You oh, yeah, but like, yeah, this is where I'm saying you're projecting. Uh, Unlike you, I wasn't triggered by that in an argument with Colin. Me and Colin were just talking to each I'll, other. I'll have Not you know, Colin, if you're watching this, he put his phone down and, and gave some stank about you. He actually gave it about no, no, Mark no. Nelson. You no, gave it about I Mark, Mark Nelson. Mark and then Nelson. you picked up your phone and went, oh, it was Colin. And he stuck, <laughs> you stuck it all to Mark. I mean, you're, you're going wild here. These are some absolute swings. I'm just saying, in that I time, you could have saved yourself a bit of money. I, I am sorry. I questioned <laughs> your Tory <laughs> car, 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 coupon card. It's clearly upset you. Do whatever you want to do to oh, save God, money. Geez. I'm sorry. That, I apologise. I what a spin that is. Tory coupon cutting. It's Tory coupon card. Tory. Coupon cutting. No, 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 that's Tory. To get, to get trips Tory. to the Maldives. Huh? To get trips to the Maldives. Oh man, if you can bend the world so that you can go to the Maldives when you shouldn't be there. Tory coupon cut is high. Wow. I think that's um I think that's very uh backwards of you. That's backwards thinking. Mm-hmm. No, I just Like if you think that I'm the Tory one in the situation that I've like made like made because I, I wouldn't be able to count the Maldives on the full ticket like what he did for you mm-hmm. which is blindly just that one that one that one yeah that, that's not that's not where I am uh-huh. right but if I collect Navios points mm-hmm. when I buy things uh-huh. if I go a little bit further yeah, but on like island, a, yeah, so yeah, 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 but on a specific be... credit card like it's like it's on a very specific if I spend all my money on this specific card I get these points that's Tony Cooper cutting okay 
right? right. It's, it's, right. it's extreme. It, yeah, it's, it's, extreme. it's Tory Kellogg's it's cereal box collecting. It's the higher version of that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Start from the bottom. <laughs> yeah, right. It's, I'm just saying. It's the top end. You're doing high end coupon collecting uh-huh. in a Tory way. No, kind of. Um, also, do you know where all these Avios points come from? Mm-hmm. From using that credit card to book your stag do, mm-hmm. Manny's stag do, like all of the best man stuff that yeah. I did. I was getting point, a point per pound on every pound that, I, <laughs> that everybody spent. I like having one card. Yeah. It's my favorite thing. Just this card buys yeah. this. We don't accept this card. Cool. You'll never see my money. Oh, my pet hate in anywhere is not accepting currency. Uh-huh. If you don't accept cash, that that's the worst one. If you don't accept cash, I hate it the most. Yeah. Because yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. like, oh my God, you are just making certain that we get skimmed on every single transaction. Yeah. yeah. Right? There's- and also like really fucking shit too. Like uh, it's just a way of making sure that no homeless person ever comes into your establishment mm-hmm. like i think it's just that's in here a bit like yeah. we're gonna clear out the riffraff with uh, this we don't want people who pay with change here yeah i am really i'm really against the cashless i guess there probably is some the player devil's advocate like your staff aren't gonna dip from the till if it's mm-hmm. all electronic right if you've got that kind of paranoia you're probably gonna have to do a lot more of administrative stuff like getting the money put in the bank and moved like whatever right but still just accept cash mm-hmm. like it's fucking it's it's legal tender it's currency and also it's a fucking dangerous game to play if we all did that and then all of a sudden nobody's got cash and we're all just fucking numbers on a screen like even the the least conspiracy theory conspiracy theory guy realized that we've got fucking full control over we're, mm. if we're money's data um Anyone that doesn't accept card. Aye. See, we am not like, why? I'm, I've got money. I'm trying to give you money. Aye. It's, I don't, it's 2024, you fucking piece of shit. Well, I, no. no. It doesn't make any sense. This is happening in real time. It doesn't make any sense. I check out at one. What's going on? What's going on? I, 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 like, I, I, I check out at one o'clock. I check out at one o'clock. Like, I come in, tidy up, uh-huh. and then I'm just going to climb straight back into bed. <laughs> nice. And just have a little roll around in that. Yeah, the toilet, stink the place suit, have a shite, brush my teeth, leave a little toothpaste on the counter, and go, right there, we can't, done. I'm done in there if you want to fucking clean it again. We had to what that was. You've, some kind of weird fetish you've got. I'll never understand. You have access to the same. They're all, they've all got a thing out there that lets them know who's checked in and who's checked out. And like that. Man, they, they've got to say it in real time. You've got to, you've got to witness it. Every fucking hotel that I've been in. It's one night, we're staying here one night. Aye, remarkable. Wait till we're gone. <laughs> that girl, never. Just, I, I, I'll just lift me feet. I'll just eat this biscuit. <laughs> like, fucking. Hmm. I do find, uh, I was thinking of this on the way up today uh, to this hotel room of feeling like, you know how you suddenly go when you're walking around and you see shitty things that people have done to the world, whether it's like vandalism or like littering or like even just the fucking, you know, the gross stuff that people do at buffets where they're like, they, they, they're clearly one, one set of tongs for this, one set of tongs for that. And they just yeah. throw, people who just don't have care. And use the for, bacon tongs on the vegan option or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Little things like that where you just go, look, here's the thing where we all had a chance to be a community and just someone always just goes, I want to be part of this community, which is still being part of that community, by the way. Not being part of it is not interacting with it at all and sneering. Going up and ruining it is actively going against it regardless i'm like i don't know why people get into that uh, into that fucking headspace and then when i was walking this around this hotel there were so many things that annoyed me that that's when i realized i started being on my worst behavior like just in the terms of uh when i got not not fully proud of this this is an act of stupid fucking petulance sat there right got a bit of a blocked nose right get my tissue out fucking Blow my nose, got a bit of a bogey in my hand. I go, that's gross, right? Been waiting for the elevator for fucking three minutes at this point. Can't make me wait, if, make, wait for an elevator in a long time in an expensive hotel. Get more elevators. You know exactly how many people are going to be staying in your hotel. Mm-hmm. You know how many elevators you need to keep the flow of that going. You've done a poor job. Bogey on the elevator. You bogeyed the elevator? Just not on any of the buttons that people are going to touch. No, but nah, you, you but, just you wipe it on the while the elevator. Yeah, just there you go. 
Uh, that's a... Uh, I think that's where an antisocial behaviour comes I, I from. I think you're getting asbo for that. Like, 100%, absolutely. Getting, I think you're getting absolute asbo for, um, for putting bogeys on the wall of a hotel. Because mm, mm. yeah. your other guests are just as angry as you about the thing and you haven't took it on the staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You took it on the poor cunt that leans against the fucking elevator while because it's taking so long. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's the act of taking out. This is it's the act of taking out on the hotel. Um, and look, yeah. if you ever get the chance to stay at the Hawkston, I'm sure you'll find it lovely because you won't be spending all fucking day in it like we do. I've never done it, but is it unethical to feed a bogey to a dog? Yeah, <laughs> I've never, I've never done it. I wouldn't do it. Like, I don't think it but like, do. but there has been times where I've like rubbed my nose like that, and I'm like, Ugh, I'm not gonna eat it now because we've had this conversation. Oh, I've seen Peggy eat worse. Like, yeah, no, hundred percent. It's not gonna harm the dog. And then I'll go and get a tissue, and I'll wipe it off, and I'll get out of the bin. Yeah, there's but no. Like, is there like is, she could have had that? She would have probably loved it. Yeah, there's n- absolutely no harm that I would give to that dog. I, I refuse to mm. believe. But you just didn't dare to respect. <laughs> yeah, it feels. I think, like, I think dogs have have dignity too. I really believe that. I think dogs have dignity. Way less than us, though, right? Way less, and I don't know if that would affect the dignity or not. But to, in my eyes, it would. I don't know, man. I've seen I've seen a dog eat salami at my friend's ass before. Huh? Yeah. You watch Bichelle? No. Mm. I believe you did. No. Sounds like it was like it was thinly veiled as a party trick. Mm. But he got his ass licked by a dog in the in the in the delivery mm. of that salami. And when he was just drunk, mm. and and him and he was he was feeding his dog salami, um, and he was enjoying the salami, and the dog was enjoying the salami, and there's one bit left, and he was like, "I really want to give it to the dog, but I really want it because I'm really drunk and stoned." And then made the internal <laughs> compromise to just play with how much the dog wants it, uh-huh. clanks it between and, his butt. And, and it turned like, out the dog was like, it's the thing I wanted to smell anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking, class. what is this? You're going to serve um, me ice cream and a flower next? If, if, that, if that went on the internet, how, how much do you think that would be like, people find it funny and other people like thinking that it was abhorrent? Oh, I don't think it'd be too like, much. What, what do you think the split would be on the internet if uh, your friend was on the... 75 25 because it wasn't deep in there like if there was any chance there was no chance of it being sexual mm. like it wasn't a, it wasn't like it wasn't like he clenched it hard in there and the mm. dog had to like go in repeatedly to get it yeah it was very much it was more like, like a platter um, yeah yeah it was like a grab one yeah. away he shrieked 25 25 percent against just because you're always going to find pe- people want to people want to kick off on the internet like and it's so obvious but uh it, with dogs and animals especially mm. people really like relish the chance to kick off now here's something that happened recently and um I, like i want to get the facts of it even slightly wrong because natalie will be ringing us and leaving voice memos mm-hmm. um so natalie I'll, I'll endeavor to do this as best as possible somebody uh, brought in a rescue like a puppy adolescent doberman that was rescued from a foreign country and had had been rescued from people who had clipped its ears. You know, so that sometimes happens to uh, Dobermans where they clip their ears to make them look pointy and more scary and more devil dog mm-hmm. than the nice friendly floppy ears that they might have. So they're bandaged up and the vets told the new family, like, you've got to keep them bandaged up. Like, the damage has been done. We need to, like, let them heal and all that, right? So um brings this puppy, nice natured puppy, um, with clipped ears to the dog park and ends up on the social media and there's just a bunch of people going, I can't believe you're endorsing this behaviour. I can't believe you're letting this like people clip their dog's ears and then bring them to the dog park and all mm. that. And she's getting a bit of stank off that. It's just like the person rescued it from that. Aye. This is the rehabilitation, like kind of like not even rehabilitation because it wasn't even it wasn't even a reactive dog. Mm. It was just a nice dog that had been abused. And, and now, like, because it's on Natalie's social media, she's having to look like she's endorsing that behaviour. And, like, nobody's even, like, thinking to do a scrap of diligence on uh, what they're kicking off at. I think there needs to be, like, on online licences and vehicles. we got to start treating your online presence like a car that you drive. Like, I think we've got to go fully the other way and be like, it's got to be fully traceable by the fucking government. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it's got to be, like, you know... This is me going over to this website, this website. We can see where you've been. We can see your reaction. And if you're like somebody that goes to a lot of conspiracy websites or you leave lots of like, and like when when a tragedy happens and you do lots of speculation and that speculation goes out in the world and then it comes back and it turns out it's not true, your license just goes down and down and down over time. You get more points on it. And just your vote's worth less than the end. I like, um, 
you should just be like your commenting privileges should just be denied. You could go right. You've made too many comments that like prove to be wrong. Yeah, you're just that, you're like, done. That, that like your your voice is exempt from the internet. Yeah, you're like, just you're just you're actually a danger to online just in there. And by the way, we're we're still leaving the pedos on here. We're just getting rid of you first. Uh, you yeah. actually do way more damage than those beasts, and we hate those. Those are the only people both sides of the political spectrum can agree are the fucking worst. I, but they seem to be adding more than you. Yeah, yeah. In conversation. <laughs> Which makes sense, because I guess they're grooming people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're trying to be affable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you, all you do me. is you leave negative comments with just no knowledge or research. I am... Um, I keep keep thinking like I'm a smart sleuth online, or that like I have maybe like a higher level of... of finding out the truth. Yeah. Well, of no, no, no. cross-checking different stories. Well, no, no. I think I definitely comment. have that. I definitely have the ability to cross-check and fact-check more, and I do more research. But I mean, on the other side, I I think because I do this, my expectation that I'll not be suckered in as quickly as other people is very, very false. Uh, we were sending horrible videos to each other, me and my friends. And uh, Cullen sent in the one of, like, there's just this guy with a... F he's a fat guy, you know, American, obviously. Um say high vis on he gets out his gun he starts firing into a fucking pickup truck through the window pickup truck reverses drives away just looks like a fucking act of road rage and then just like this fat American standing in the road and his high vis being like whoa and then a guy beside him starts running away turns around and the pickup truck just fucking balls through I saw that video yeah uh, it was in our fucking group right so I'm watching that now my first reaction right, I really missed the shots you were right. shooting through the window of the car. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, this is the most American thing I've ever seen. Without without knowing anything about this video, I know how everyone in it voted. Mm -hmm. I know <laughs> I know how the person filmed it voted. Uh, I, I know whose side I'm on. Like, what a fucking stupid dumb cunt. Caught his gun out in a bit of road race, shot through the window, got hit by a car. Ha, ha, ha. You got all, to a fight, you lost. Yeah, all my initial reactions just being like, fucking this is deserved. I love karma. I love retribution. And then I do what I always do. And I'm like, okay, try to find out what's actually fucking happened here. Oh, man. Oh man, it was the it was the second half of a second half of a carjacking. So the guy, the guy, the, in the high car. was his. It was his pickup truck. He'd been pulled out of the car by a guy. The guy got into the car. He pulled out his gun in a panic moment. Shot, tries to shoot. He the guy. took warning shots because he didn't want to kill a man. It's just a death. He's just a guy. Yeah. He's just a guy. He wants to let him know he's armed. Oh, I mean, or maybe we, uh, we don't he know that. Have missed. No, I nah, mean, he couldn't have missed. Soldier that fires over the top of the head of the, the opposing army. No, 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 no. I mean, we've got no way of knowing what was going. He couldn't have missed. Uh, I mean, he did. <laughs> and no, that means he meant to miss. Nah, nah. Stay away. Nah, he's never. letting the that. The warning shots there. He's fucking scaring the guy. He's both hands over. Guy could be fucking laid it down. Uh, uh, unless he clipped him a couple of times. Like that could have been some. Okay, well, well I didn't do the research. Yeah. I didn't do the research that uh, it didn't go. It might have just been blanks. Uh, the second I found out, I was wrong. I was like, oh, well. Mm. Well, I guess I'll feel less good about that then. Now I feel sad. I I think um, to to even like to even speak up in the comments on a video when like the context like like even that video where you were sure that you knew what was going on. I bet you wouldn't have put your two pennies doing in the comments in a million years. No, no, but absolutely would have shared that video with friends with just the comment good uh, Sean Freud. I like the same way I shared that story of that fucking uh, guy who set himself alight outside the Trump courtroom what happened there can't set himself on fire what for because he's a fucking idiot what, what was there uh, what was his side of reason what was but he, there was no side of reason was he was the, a conspiracy theorist what was the um, what was the protest in aid of the government are all fucking lizards and I am um, Donald Trump is innocent and oh, so he was like a, a pro-Trump and oh, I, I, Biden well, I think he was, he was to be fair I, I don't I think he was also he might have been like anti-Trump he was anti he was anti-government he was anti america he was a conspiracy theorist he was a literal fucking nut job and was a stalker um, as well and now he's did he die? 
Uh, he was in critical condition, um, and they tend to not make it. Oh, that sounds like the that. start of a super villain. Mm. Uh, he's going to come back a super villain. That. Well, though. I mean, you have to not be a fucking mental case beforehand. I think, like the Joker was mm. normal before he was. What was Two Faces' origin story? Have you done? Uh huh. He was the. How did, how did he get his face all melted again? Oh, in the comic books. Like, is there is there a generic story across all things, mm. or is it like the joke? I wear this different origin stories. No, Harvey Dent was the district attorney, and he was like, and then I think one of the cases he was doing, somebody threw acid in his face while he was at the. Mm. He was a really good lawyer, and then burned it away. That's then, that because he's um, he's at the start of. Uh, Arkham City, and I've just started playing it now. I played Arkham Asylum when we lived together. Mm -hmm. I played that through. Uh, I wanted to play it again, just to recap. Um, it's incompatible on the Steam Deck. Oh yeah, yeah. But the um, but Arkham City is compatible, so I started playing that, and it's fucking. It holds up, man. I couldn't believe when I looked up, and it's thirteen years old. Arkham City. It's the dead. It's like the, the graphics and the. You know what, like. When I'm playing and stringing combos together and stuff, right, I'm like, oh, excellent. But I've played God of War and Spider-Man since then. Yeah. So, like, there is a little bit of shoulders of giants going on. But it still holds up graphics and gameplay and functionality-wise. It's not quite as flown as the, the aforementioned games I just said. But um, still, like, gr great, like, the way the plot develops, the way the map develops. Like, fucking what an excellent game Markham City is so far. I've, I've only played it for, like, three hours at the moment. I wonder if the new um, the Suicide Squad game was any good because it looked class in the trailers. Mm. And apparently it was similar developers, but I think the fact that I've not heard anything about it since uh -huh. suggests that it might have been a bit shite. I also haven't played a Fallout game since Fallout 3. That's the only one I have played, and I yeah. loved it. They're like, you know, when you put the neck collars on somebody so that you can boss them around or blow their head up and all that. Mm. That was Fallout 3, wasn't it? I think so. Um, so I just was like, because there's a resurgence of it with a, with a series, so more people are buying the game and that, and I just like Googled like the best Fallout game, thinking that it was going to be Fallout 3, the one I played. Um, Fallout New Vegas apparently is the one, and I've never touched that game yet. So I've got I've got that to play. I'm going to play Fallout New Vegas. I the Fallout that's games a, never that's, fucking that's next on my list. Either that or Arkham Knight, depending on whether I need a gear change. Um, I don't think Arkham Knight was as good as our whatever the second one was. Oh wait, thought... Arkham Knight's the most recent. What's the, and Arkham City? Yeah, Arkham I, Asylum City Knight. City's better than Knight, is it? Yeah, Knight's not that good. Yeah, so I may, I may just go on to Fallout New Vegas. But I think Knight is also, I don't know how true it was, but I think it's Mark Hamill's last outing as the Joker. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it? Well, I mean, he said that at the time, and I'm, I don't know how much he's stuck to that since. Since he mm -hmm. seems like a, one of those football managers that just never wants to retire. He's like, ah, I'm, all right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to retire now. I'm like, do the Joker one more time? He's like, I'll manage everybody one more time. Go, go on then, go, go on now. For all time's sake. Um... What is like an iconic game you haven't played? Um, you play Red, Red Dead Redemption? Yeah. You play The Witcher? No, I hated The Witcher. I played The Witcher. Oh, to be fair, I played The Witcher for 24 hours. I made a very like informed decision that it was just, uh, despite how air quotes amazing the storyline is, that it's just an objectively bad game. I think... I think uh, the battle system's a bit weird. Like, I couldn't get the hang of that. I think it may be better on PC with a keyboard and... Whatnot. Yeah, maybe. Um, I'd like to see a modern version of it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel like it standed the test of time. No, I don't even think I'd give the new one a go. Nah. Nah, nah, really fucking hated it. Um, you played all the Grand Theft games. Yeah, but to be fair, I don't think I've completed any one since like fucking Vice City. Oh, I never, I never did complete five. Yeah, I always got so far, and then I like ran through from the beginning and got kind of at the same point again. But never. The, um, one of the best experiences in gaming of my life was completing San Andreas and getting the jetpack. Oh yeah, that was. I just remember like as that was. Just like buzzing around the city on your jetpack, like that was brand new. Like that kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. that kind of ability hadn't been done before in games. Yeah, yeah, to just be able to explore the map on like every axis. Um. Oh, I tell you, what games I've ne I've never played any of the Metal Gear Solids. Oh really? No. 
Okay, that's a bit. That's more generational than anything else, though. Yeah. Because like the Metal Gear games, the original ones were the iconic ones, and they won't really give a fuck about the like anything after two. Um, so like, yeah, you'd you'd be, be having to go like down the like avenue of retro game mm. to play that. Like, it, it didn't just pass you by. You would have to go and dig it out. I can't think. I mean, I I, I think I've got. What about Civilization? Did you ever play that? Oh yeah, not a fan. Not a fan. No. Cause I, I I love that sort of game, but I've never played it, so I might I might put that on the list. Which civilizations? That I'm gonna. You know what? If if you know which civilization is the best, you can tell us. But I can also just Google it, and I'm sure it's like a common. You can common do the one where uh, Gandhi. You can make Gandhi a fascist. Can you? Yeah, because they made him too pure in the programming. I can't remember how it went wrong. But it's essentially like if you if they made him too peaceful one way that he just and he come full circle yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and right. he's like the most aggressive player I mean obviously they've patched it and fixed it mm. but there was just a time where you'd be playing Civilization Five and, and it's would, like Gandhi is invading he would start oh, empire building oh absolutely he'd roll <laughs> through Norway he'd roll through a tail of the Hun <laughs> he get to your door. Oh, you know what? I think, Still malnourished. Okay, I'm going to keep that game. I'm going to I'm going to make room for more gaming in my life. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm. I'm preparing for like uh, lots of things to binge and uh, watch and read and play when family leave. But we've got about seven, eight days. Oh, seven fact, seven like, days till the two-hour bus finishes, and then a few flights, and then five days New York. So you've got uh, about two weeks for your family. Uh, right. And uh, tour bus is still fucking fun, man. Yeah, the one thing I've learned from the tour bus experience is you could do it for an extended period of time. Yeah, and I think I think it helps to have this every now and again, like a, a weekly bed. Yeah, a weekly double bed and breakaway, like kind of, because it, it, it's not like I don't we don't have breakaway space either because every venue lets us in from nine, mm. so we we'll get we we'll arrive there at about that time. Have sometimes have breakfast on the tour bus and hang out together in the morning, and but then I can go and just like take my suitcase into the venue, have myself a workout, and uh, and get showered and everything. And it's like it, like we're not being robbed of privacy. Like we're we're getting the we're getting to have the time that you would have in a hotel. And also just having the st- yeah, having the time during the fucking day. Mm. Um, still got a way to go. We'll find out. Uh, there was a time the other day where I got into my bunk and I was like, have my feet always been able to fucking touch the bottom of this? And I mean, they must have, but mm. I think but like... You, you didn't stretch out a great deal. No, or maybe just like the novel he's wearing yeah. off. Because you've got a double bed in your room, but it's like for three of you, it's just less than two singles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you actually, by just like... Can can have a look, cuddle up with them and then claim into a single bed. That's yeah. the rational way of doing it. Um, I had trouble uh, after the last podcast we did with all the whiskey that we drank. I didn't enjoy waking up with a hangover on a bumpy road. It was just especially bumpy road as well. It was like one of them where like the motorway just seems to go like you know sometimes when you're approaching a roundabout yeah and they put them like fucking yellow thick strips of paint on that make uh yeah it felt like the whole motorway was drawn of them and i'm hung over and uh, i woke up with the driest mouth and a banging headache and tried to combat that by downing a bottle of water and as soon as that water like it didn't even seem to get past my diaphragm it just went you're coming back up Aye. and I just ran through and I managed to grab a um, paper coffee cup and filled it like to the brim without spilling a drop down again straight back doing the hatch like a dog <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was that was look, look Gordo in the eye went that counts just two glasses of water <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's uh, that was the one time where I was like, "Oh God, this isn't the place to be hungover or like hammered." No, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I have because I've had a re- reasonably healthy run at it. Like I've I haven't smoked any weed. I've had a couple of cigarettes with mm. when the smoke had joined us. And, yeah, like I've two, not literally two cigarettes. Um, I've not dr- I've not drank apart from the night that we did, and I, and I do wonder. I reckon if we'd been on any other tour. Doing this, drinking the way we used to, would we would have hated that, the tour bus. That tour bus is not the place you want to be if you're drunk and hungover. Yeah, it's not a party thing. It's not a, it's not a party thing. And if it is, dig it in your 20s. Yeah. 
Like, yeah, and also if you if you're doing it in your twenties, you're not making enough money in your twenties to be doing a fucking tour bus. Yeah, yeah, you should be saving some of that. This may not last. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so that that was the one time where I was like, oh, the road the road is rough. If you're hung over, if you're bumping around and lying in this like little cabin but that cabin is totally totally fine for like getting to bed reading me book until my eyes get tired and then nodding off and then sometimes you'll wake up when it starts moving but you can get back to sleep again oh, it's all loving it uh, right i'm gonna go beat my child up mm, he deserves it no I, yeah. um, and don't put anything in the comments you don't know the full story aye. i i don't even know the story yet i'm just gonna go in there and you fucking find a reason but there will be a reason there always is so just like you, look, you look you hard enough they're not perfect you'll you, find one you don't know the context so yeah. just like you know what bruce's heel um thank you to everyone who's coming to the show so far in the and and and, and if you want to see us in the next week google it mm -hmm. see you soon